We received 63 proxies by the end mail. In addition to neighbors, we formed a total of 67 properly submitted ballots. Of the total of all votes properly submitted, 100% were in favor of the election of the following as directors of ESNA for a term of three years. Faith Bondi and Joan Fabio sitting right, right up front. And by the way, congratulations. The bylaw for equality that a majority of votes cast is required to elect directors. There was a majority of the votes cast affirmatively by proxy in person for the election of the directors on a ballot, and as a result, they have been duly elected to the Board of Directors of ESM. Thank you. So now that we are legal, um, Barry used to come to this point and give various reports. Uh, since he's not here, it actually takes two of us to do this. So I will just give you a couple of comments and then Faith will be able to, to give you more in-depth reports. Just two quick things. We're in the process of putting together an emergence directory that will be available sometime at the end of the year. So that's one of the things that the Jews are working very, very diligently on the emergence directory. Also, there's going to be an annual holiday sing. We haven't had that for the last several years. We will be having a holiday sing on December 4th. It will be at 67th Street and 1st Avenue, the TV bank there, so we look forward to that. We will have the Jolly Holiday Singers, and uh, again, it should be a fun, fun evening. We welcome everybody coming there at that time. The other thing, just to be reminding that the uh, folks at the Bentley still need clothing. We put out some flyers recently, and uh, they still have a great need for clothing. So we encourage everybody to please do that. Dig into your closets and come up. Now, moving along in the next two seconds. Great. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try and zip through this on um, what's new in the neighborhood. Um, some of it we've heard from our actives, the Greenway at Andrew Haswell Green Park. That's the waterfront level in the um, big spiral thing at the top. Um, it's going to be open in December, January, um, and that's going to be, it's beautiful. We've seen it. Um, the Esther trees were happy to report the Esther community will be receiving a total of 39 new trees, so look out for those. Um, Eastside Access, that was the addition of um, the Long Island Railroad to Grand Central. That is now called the Grand Central Madison, and the trains are now running into Grand Central Station. The MTA still is at the corner of, six, of 2nd Avenue, 63rd Street, and they're targeted to be complete um, for 2024. Um, and at that time, they're gonna put out a request for proposing for the development of a, um, for that site. Um, they haven't done that yet. York Avenue sewer and water main project, the never ending project on New York between 60th and 64th Street, which began in 2015. Um, this one was slightly different and its completion date was supposed to be 2017, but now we are hearing spring of 2025. Um, the Schwartzman Animal Medical Renovation, which is right there um, on York Avenue, that is the 10 story bed uh, hospital at 510 East 62nd Street. That's a new structure that's going to add 11,000 square feet to the existing 26,000 square feet. Um, and overall, a great increase to 100,000 patients, family, and staff per year. Um, I don't have a completion date on that. The MSK Center will construct a new 31-story acute care inpatient facility um, at York between 66 and 67. That's a new pavilion that's going to have 28 operating sites, 202 beds, and spaces for services. It's not a standalone hospital. Um, it's going to be connected to the current MSK hospital via a two story bridge over 67th Street. The demo of 1233 New York is going to start in July of 2024. Um, it's pending approvals on the MSK New Cancer Pavilion. It could be 
starting in 2025 with a potential completion date of 2030. Um, the Julia Richmond Education Complex, which is on 2nd Avenue between 67th and 68th Street, is under repair. Um, they're replacing the roof, the parapet walls, and some windows, and some masonry work, um, and some exterior doors, and flood on the elimination of the building. Um, the work is expected to be completed at the end of 2024. Um, 403 East 65th Street, the garage is now going to become a new public pre-K, and that's going to be opening or anticipated to be opening in September of 2024, so the next school year. The Treadwell apartment building at 249 East 62nd Street, which runs along 2nd Avenue between 62nd and 63rd Street, is going to be supposed to be ready for occupancy in the spring of 2024. Um, and then there's supposed to be a new apartment building um, that's under construction at 1026 Third Avenue next to the Isle of Free building. Um, and that's going to be a 273 foot tall building and it's going to have 81 units, but we don't have a completion date yet. Um, there's the bonus plaza at 200 East 64th Street, that's above 20 Denapolis. They're going to start renovating um, that plaza when the local law 11 work on the exterior of the building is completed, and that's scheduled around January of 2025, if everything goes according to plan, which is usually the case. Um, and then, unfortunately, we heard before uh, CBS was clothes and it's um, sad. And then concerning e-bikes and safety and traffic rules, we just, um, suggest that you attend the quarterly 19th precinct NCO sector AMP meetings, and uh, also the community council meetings. There are great ways to understand what's going on in the community and what our great 19th precinct is doing for us to ask your questions, to voice your concerns. They're super respon responsive. And that's what they're there for. They're there to address the community concerns and speak to us directly in the community. So um, please attend their uh, excellent. Now back to John. Thank you. That was a quick summary, but I think it was a very in depth summary. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the recording that Monica is doing for us is going to be available. Uh, the plan, this, my idea, over the Barry and Judy may not be is to put the meeting up on the website. I hope we can do that. And we thank Monica for being so diligent in, in filming all of this. Thank you.